Okay, I'm Matt Stansbury with Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm here with Bob Borden of uh, Hairline Dubbin to talk a little bit about the company here. And Bob, can you tell me a little bit about how the company started? Well, actually, the company got started uh, through Bob Gard at the Caddisfly Shop. Uh, back in the late 70s, I tied flies commercially for him. Uh, uh, myself, Bob Hooten, and a couple other guys. And uh, I was starting to get tired of doing it commercially and uh, kind of got burned out. And one day Bob said, he says, hey, Borden, he says, why don't you uh, uh, get a bunch of rabbit hair, share it and whatever, and uh, dye it different colors. He said, I'll buy it from you. Uh, he said, I sell a lot of it. My supplier uh, is, no, is no longer uh, doing any of it. He went out of business. So I got a pair of shears and started shearing uh, white rabbit hides and uh, I dyed them 24 different colors on my wife's stove and that's basically how the company got started. And we're packaging up some, what kind of dubbing is this? This is uh, Bob's custom blend here which is uh, Angora and some ice dub mixed together. That's awesome. And what's over here? Is here this, they're uh, packaging spay plumes, which spay is a new plumes. product. Oh, I've seen those. So as you can shop. see, they, they grade each feather individually. They just don't grab them, and those are no good. And you can see here, they get thrown away. That's awesome. And nothing but quality feathers get packaged. How did, how did it go from there to here today, to where you're one of the biggest distributors? Well, at the time, I worked in a pulp and paper mill. I had a real good job. I was a control room operator in a powerhouse. And what I did, I really loved the sport. And uh, once I got started doing the materials and whatever, the, the rabbit hair, I, I just really liked it. I'd done everything myself, continued to work. And uh, every year I'd add a product or two. And like Marabou, and I, I did another line or two of Dubbin, added some more colors to the original hairline. And uh, finally, after about four to five years, it got to where I couldn't handle it and work at the mill, too. I was basically working 16, 17 hours a day, seven days a week. And... Uh, there for about a 10 year period, I didn't do any fishing, which I love to fly fish. So I started hiring a few people. And uh, after I had four people hired, and we went another year or two and kept adding, and I was doing all the dyeing, and uh, the people that worked for me were doing the packaging and uh, getting out the orders, and I was still doing all the invoicing by hand. Uh, finally, uh, my wife and I made a decision that uh, I'd quit the mill, and it was kind of, it was a hard thing to do because I had a very good job. And Marcos has been here about 10 years, and uh, uh, at the time, Marcos was one of my best customers, and we practically talked every day on the phone. He had a fly shop in... Uh, Chicago said, why don't you let me come to work for you? Because he knew that uh, I was kind of getting burned out. So we put together a deal. He sold his fly shop and he come out. Well, he come out here first for a month and to see if he'd like it. And he decided he'd like it. So he went back, sold his fly shop, moved his family out here. And uh, uh, since he's been here, we've really expanded uh, his expertise uh, in computers and uh, uh, working with different people and stuff, having the shop, why well, has really, really expanded the company, which was something that I just, uh, myself, I would have never expanded it that much if I had to do it. Senyo's laser dub, which we're huh. cutting up to a certain length so that it dubs properly. What do you use that for? 
Now, this would be primarily a steelhead, salmon steelhead, Devin. It's fantastic. We developed it for Orvis, but we'll be selling it to all the dealers here within a few weeks. And so that's basically how we got to where we are today. And now we have, what, about 6,000 different uh, little, SKUs? A little over 7,000. A little over 7,000 different SKUs. And I started out with 24 colors of hairline. So like hairline Devon number four, which is hair's ear, uh -huh. will normally have 10, 15 pounds of that on the end at any given time. How much is in one of these bags? Uh, this is about five pounds. That's only five pounds. <laughs> So what's the biggest change in the fly tying materials business that you've seen, you think? Uh, people are going more and more to synthetics. Uh, the natural stuff's getting harder and harder to get. And uh, I don't foresee much of a change. Uh, I think it's going to continue to go that way. That makes sense. So, What's what's your fly fishing? What's your home water? What what kind of fishing do you like to do typically? Uh, I go down the road, down at Gold Beach, fly fish for Chinook down there. Yeah, that's probably my first love. My second love is fishing the high lakes. I really like to fish diamond now that it's come back. Yeah, that's great. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet.